Senior Life Journeys presents Carol Howell's Let's Talk Dementia, a podcast designed to help caregivers find knowledge, power, hope, and smiles in their dementia caregiving journey. Welcome to Let's Talk Dementia. Here is your host, best-selling author, Carol Howell. Hi, I'm Carol Howell, and welcome to Let's Talk Dementia. Well, today I've already been out in the pool, and it's just been wonderful. Been to a meeting, got things to do today, and been a little more energetic maybe than I felt the last few days, and I'm excited about that. Today, we're going to talk about mild cognitive impairment. I was speaking with one of my clients just earlier and um, had the conversation that his mom had been diagnosed with MCI, mild cognitive impairment, and he was surprised to learn a few things about it, and I thought, hmm, maybe I should do a show about it. Do you guys watch This Is Us? I'm going to tell you, that family never has anything good ever happen. I mean, there's three kids, and daddy died in a fire, and oh my word, life, there's they just don't have good stuff. <laughs> it's a depressing show, and why I watch it, I'm not entirely sure, but I always do. I stay current. Well, the mom has recently been diagnosed with MCI, myocognitive impairment, and the doctor said uh, Rebecca has mild cognitive impairment that will lead to Alzheimer's or something along those lines, and I thought, hmm? Okay, that's a little different than what I understand mild cognitive impairment. Because what we know um, is mild cognitive impairment is not Alzheimer's. So when I was talking to my friend Jeff earlier about his mom, and he said, Mom's just doing so much better than she had been doing. Mom's husband had died, um, I don't know, in the last year, 18 months. I can't recall exactly when. And as I've told you, this grief business is serious stuff, and it messes with you. She was dealing with that, and she came off some medications, and she's had a huge improvement in her cognitive being, but she does still have some issues, and the doctors have called it mild cognitive impairment. Well, he was surprised to learn that mild cognitive impairment did not necessarily mean that she would have Alzheimer's. He just thought that it was the natural progression, that it was early Alzheimer's. And there are physicians who will refer to mild cognitive impairment as early Alzheimer's when it's not. So what is mild cognitive impairment? Well, it is that inability to think clearly in all the situations of life or in many situations of life, but it is not disabling. You are still able to function and live on your own and, and probably still work and pay your bills, but things are just more difficult. And we think, hmm, things aren't right with mom and, and we need to find out what's going on. So uh, the symptoms, you forget things more often. You might forget appointments or going out with your friends. You might have trouble making some decisions, but overall you're still functioning pretty Pretty well, then that is often called mild cognitive impairment. It is the stage between expected normal aging, the decline we get with normal aging, and the serious decline that comes with dementia. It's right in the middle in the, between those two things. Um, but it does not mean you will have Alzheimer's. Mild cognitive impairment can be caused by many things. It can be a precursor to Alzheimer's. It can be a precursor to Parkinson's or Lewy body dementia. It can be brought on because of vascular issues. Um, the things that we do and we don't do for our body can cause um, an increased risk of a cognitive change like diabetes and smoking and uh, eating wrong and not moving our bodies and not having social interaction with other people, being um, recluse and staying in our home and not actually having a life, so to speak. We know that people with um, MCI do have, uh, MCI have a significantly increased risk, but not a certainty of developing dementia. Now, did you get that? The chance of dementia brought on by a disease where it is an irreversible dementia is increased, but it's not a certainty. Um, the Mayo Clinic website says overall about 1 to 3 percent of older adults develop dementia every year. 1 to 3 percent of older adults develop dementia every year. Studies suggest that 10 to 15 percent of individuals with mild cognitive impairment go on to develop dementia. So for my friend Jeff, that's good news that only 10 to 15 percent of those folks with MCI actually do wind up with dementia for some 
um, irreversible reason, like Alzheimer's or Parkinson's, Parkinson's or Lewy body or stroke or whatever. So that that's a little different than maybe what you thought. So he was looking back, oh, I think it was July or August of last year, of moving mom to um, a community that had a, a section that wasn't memory care and it wasn't assisted living. It was right in the middle, which had more of a lifestyle like assisted living, but was more secure like memory. And that was a very good plan. Well, she wound up not moving and has gone through this process and is getting better. And now they're thinking maybe she could go ahead and move and be in a community around people and have that social interaction that's so important for all of us. And I said, you know, I'm not sure that mom needs to be in that middle ground. I think she's fine right there in assisted living, more interaction, more normal lifestyle than what we would have in that bridge unit that's between the two. He was surprised to understand that in most all assisted living communities, they will handle medication management. He's like, oh, I don't know. Mom needs to be in that bridge unit because she still has problems with her meds. Well, I honestly don't know of an assisted living in this country that does not offer med management. And I can tell you in London, um, that's not the case. Those communities there are called assisted living, but they don't offer help with uh, care for the, for the human body. So it's different there, but pretty much in the United States, you're going to get that care. So he was surprised to learn that. So I'm so glad his mom has improved. So what was going on? That grief was weighing her down. I get it. She was on medications that maybe she didn't need to be on any longer and her medications were adjusted. And now she's feeling more like herself and she's able to get out and get about and participate in life. How wonderful that is. I want her to participate in life in the assisted living environment with people like herself where she can get very involved and do more things and have more of a life, right? That's what we want. She can afford it and I think it'd be good for her. Something to think about for your loved one. So if MCI is mild cognitive impairment, if those words have crossed your path, don't freak out. Don't go, oh, mom's got Alzheimer's and life's going to change tomorrow. Well, it's probably not true. It's going to be a very slow process for them. And it may never change. It may always just be mild cognitive impairment. Not to downplay that. I don't want to have those words said over me that Carol has mild cognitive impairment. That would not make me happy. But it also is not a certainty of Alzheimer's. That's good news, isn't it? I know a lady who was diagnosed with mild cognitive impairment in her 30s. Mm -hmm. She's still doing okay. <laughs> That's been some time ago. Well, I hope that gives you some hope in case you're learning about mild cognitive impairment or you're watching This Is Us and you know Rebecca's got it and now they're worried she's going to have Alzheimer's. And if you've seen the flash forwards, oh my word, again, never anything good flashing forward. I think we find her in a very dark, dark place. <laughs> Television. I've got to go back to watching Friends and Frasier because it made me laugh. You guys have a great day and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Talk Dementia. Blessings and smiles. Let's Talk Dementia would like to thank our sponsors, National Association of Veterans and Families. You can reach them at 800-352-2919 on the internet at www.navf.org. They speak veterans so you don't have to. And you tell them Carol sent you when you call to inquire about benefits for the veteran, the spouse of the veteran, or both. Editor Beth. You can find Ms. Beth Crosby at EditorBeth.com. She is amazing at looking at what you've written and making sure it represents you well. Find her at www.EditorBeth.com. And HD Imports, located on Flint Street Extension in Rock Hill, South Carolina. That's York County. 803-985-0985. They are there for the, hunt, the repair and maintenance of your Honda, Hyundai, Toyota, Kia. Tell them Carol sent you. Thanks for joining us today for Carol Howell's Let's Talk Dementia. To learn more about dementia, we recommend Carol's best-selling book, also titled Let's Talk Dementia. It's available on Amazon in paperback and Kindle versions. Be sure to like Let's Talk Dementia on Facebook and leave us a kind word of review on iTunes. Remember, knowledge brings power. Power brings hope. Hope brings smiles. And we all need more smiles. Thanks for joining us today. And we'll be right here when you come back to Let's Talk Dementia.